When in doubt as to whether or not an anime can truly keep improving every episode, Bleach's latest episode proves that notion outstandingly by somehow being even better than its previous stellar episodes. Am I- am I gay? Serving up a slew of creative directing decisions and somehow condensing eight and a half chapters into a single episode without making it feel rushed? How the fuck? Bleach's latest episode shows that a fight that may have felt slow in the manga is greatly amplified by the anime's decision, and by extension Kubo's decision, to do it all in one go as the entire episode is an action-packed, back-and-forth thrill ride of who has the bigger dick. He's definitely overcompensating. The speed at which it happens makes this war feel like an actual war, but the voice acting performances do the same and are even better than normal in this episode, as Grimmy's actor, who's also done Tanjiro and Kaneki, absolutely kills his role here to the point where I can't imagine him as anyone but Grimmy now. And it's definitely not because he makes me wet. It certainly helps that the anime went all out for this episode, from the creative angles to the excellent choice in musical selection and the delicious Sakuga moments that all work together and form a cohesive bond that is, arguably, the best episode of Bleach thus far, from an action standpoint at least, as, on the story front, outside of Gremmy's characterization, the only thing we really got was the reveal that Yachiru is Nozarashi, Kenny's on Pakuto, something that was already foreshadowed a literal decade ago, but I love that the anime actually went back and reanimated the flashback rather than just reusing the old one with the usual filter. Thank god it's not having a stroke anymore. It's very well executed and shows just how cool and broken Kenny is without meandering around for nine chapters straight with a lot of standing and talking that the original source material had, likely due to Kubo beginning to fall ill around this time, and here the anime has, once again, perfected what he originally envisioned, as he himself is the one correcting the scripts for every episode, and turned an interesting but slow-paced fight into non-stop ridiculous nonsense action like literal outer space. Why does a ghost need oxygen? It's definitely not the right call for every episode, but it was an excellent choice here as it doesn't feel too rushed despite the number of chapters adapted, and it amplifies the entire encounter as a result, and honestly, the only real issue the episode has as a whole is that because of the pacing of the episode, it's not left with a lot of time for moments to linger or breathe. This does only really apply to the ending and the moment after the credits as Grimmy shows up and dies just as fast, so there's no moment in which we're able to sympathize with him or understand his viewpoint as, just as quickly as it's brought up, the episode just ends. No way, that was 23 minutes. It's much better than spending an entire volume of manga on a character that amounts to so little, but this alternative only served to benefit the battle itself rather than the character, which I suppose ultimately doesn't matter in the end since Grammy is a bit player anyway, but not my heart. Likewise, the music, while very good this episode and even fit with new musical tracks for Grammy, did also suffer from the issue of just being way too low in volume when it should have been loud and bombastic. There are certainly some moments where it hits and it hits hard, but other moments where you can barely hear it in the background, which makes some scenes feel a bit lukewarm, thus having the previous episode remain as the undisputed king on the musical front and because of Rukia. <laughs> 